Hello everyone. We are Project Kratos, a Martian rover team with 50 plus students from various engineering backgrounds, representing the Bits Pilani KK Birla Goa. Our team is divided into five subsystems: mechanical, electronics, control, autonomous, and the life protection subsystem. We have been passionately developing rovers ever since our inception in 2018, and this process has been greatly assisted by our access to our university's in-house mechanical workshop, where we do mechanical jobs like CNC, lathe, milling, and TIG and MIG welding. We also use our university's state-of-the-art fabrication and prototyping lab, which houses a PCB milling machine, a laser cutter, a plasma cutter, and multiple 3D printers. For this year's International Rover Challenge, we are proud to present Kratos Mark VI. The mechanical subsystem deals with the research, design, and development of the external framework and all the server assemblies mounted on the rover. This year, we have completely revamped the wheel assembly, including the wheel design for more efficient traction during turning and the couplers for increased torque transmission. The double lambda rocker boogie suspension has gone through multiple iterations of diagnostic analysis to enhance stability and durability during mission tasks. Our robotic arm features a powerful linear gripper for performing accurate tasks like turning switches, pulling plug. It is also capable of lifting weight up to 7 kgs. It uses a redesigned bevel mechanism for smooth roll and pitch motion, minimizing the casing flex and improving gear meshing. Our light detection assembly now includes a telescopic double lead screw mechanism for stable soil collection, a lead screw driven deposition system, a magnetic mixer for proper soil blending, and a custom filter to prevent clogging, ensuring reliable and efficient operations. Our rover uses multiple methods to search for potential biomarkers. A custom 3D printed funnel directs part of the collected soil into a cache container, while the rest forms a solution tested for carbonates, ammonia, and proteins, then analyzed using a spectrometer. An FPV camera captures rock images that are background removed and classified by a CNN trained on an improved dataset. High resolution soil images from a digital microscope are manually classified using a Munsell chart. We've also integrated an NPK sensor to measure soil nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, along with humidity, temperature, EC, and pH. Upgraded multi-channel gas and CO2 sensors monitor atmospheric conditions to assess habitability and potential for life. In the electronic subsystems for drive, wheel velocities are calculated on a Raspberry Pi and an ESP32 connected to MDD30A motor drivers, which drive the wheel motors. Each motor on the wheel is equipped with a magnetic encoder, providing accurate wheel odometry to enhance rover control. Two onboard computers, a Raspberry Pi responsible for driving the motors and sensors, and a Jetson AGX Orin handling the hardware encoding required for clear feeds of up to five cameras, form a network with the omnidirectional antenna through a network switch. High gain 5 GHz omnidirectional and sector antennae enable long range communication between the base station and the rover. To power the rover, along with the dedicated drive battery, we use parallel battery packs in a short key R-ring configuration along with a power distribution board to provide outlets of varying voltages. New PCBs have been designed and manufactured for the ARM, drive and design subsystems. The electronics box is equipped with cooling fans for heat circulation. The rover uses kill switches for the drive and payload systems to provide a means for shutdown in case of emergency. A 5 degree of freedom robotic arm designed with carbon fiber links and linear actuator deliver remarkable accuracy task after task. To ensure pinpoint positioning, we integrated absolute encoders at the arm joints and an inertial measurement unit for tracking base and bevel rotations in real time. This joint specific data combined with orientation data is used to build a real time map of the arm's force. Leveraging this feedback, a PI controller drives the arm smoothly along predefined axes, ensuring accurate motion and also allows the arm to rapidly transition between preset configuration. This allows the rover to perform a wide range of complex tasks like pressing buttons, opening latches and drawers, rotating knobs, and even removing a standard 3-pin plug. The arm is also capable of lifting loads of up to 7 kilograms. For this year's reconnaissance and autonomous delivery operation, the autonomous subsystem has undergone significant enhancements. We upgraded our onboard computer to the NVIDIA Jetson Orin AGX and transitioned our framework to ROS2. We have implemented real-time kinematics for accurate GPS data using the TubePilot here plus RTK module, which works in conjunction with the Pixar Cube Flight Controller for precise GPS navigation. The rover can perform simultaneous localization and mapping using the ARTA map, powered by the point cloud data from our Z2S Zero Camp. The SLAM algorithm generates an occupancy grid which, when combined with the NAP2 navigation staff, enables accurate path planning. Additionally, we have trained a YOLO V11 model for object detection, allowing the rover to identify cone markers and their color. As part of our efforts to foster education in robotics, we conduct a six-week workshop over summer for students all over India, where we teach underlying concepts about robotics and rover making. From this very pool of students, we induct the top performers into our team. We look forward to having an unforgettable experience at International Rover Challenge 2026.